All right, well, speaking of pets, we're kicking off our Monday morning with our pet project. I love it. You can help a shelter animal by being a foster parent. The more foster homes for local pets, the better chance they have at finding a forever home. That's right. The Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha can always use help in fostering love to build a no-kill community. Did I say that right? I said that wrong, I think. All right. Um, <laughs> we've got Leanne and Jen back from Oz. Thanks. Thanks for being here, you guys. It's Monday. I feel like it's an eclipse. Uh, I have a total eclipse of the brain today. Yes. It's just All right, they're with you. Monday Jen, I'm, I'm going to hand this happen. to you really quick. Okay. True or false, okay. Molly's favorite animal is a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True or false, Tiff's favorite animal is a cat. Putty tat. True. True or false, you bought both rabbits and cats here today. Lovely. Yeah. I like it. Fantastic. So fostering is a big thing that people can do to help you guys, right? Absolutely. Who would you right. bring with today? Are these um, are these available animals or are those these that are can be fostered? former fosters. Okay. They're yeah. graduates of the foster program, so now they are up for adoption. Oh. This is Lena and this is Albie. And you can tell the difference. She's a little longer here and she's got a white spot on her chest. And they're Love. four months Cute. old. Cute. Yeah. What is, the, what is the, uh, the difference, I guess, what's going on with an animal that they would be, say, a, a candidate for fostering versus, say, their available for adoption? So oftentimes it's babies, but mm. not always. So okay. younger kittens, um, puppies, we bring up moms that have had litters of puppies from Alabama, so the whole families need fostering. Um, sometimes cats with upper respiratory infection or an animal that's recovering. Sometimes it's a medical, medical case or even a behavioral case with some of our special needs dogs. Okay. So it's not just any animal in the shelter, especially if they're handling the shelter environment well. It's often the ones that aren't yet available for adoption and they need that, that extra support. Okay. okay. So who's a good foster? Because I think a lot of people would love to have an animal in their home almost on a trial period. Exactly. Or exactly. if they can't keep one forever or they're afraid of not being able to afford one. Fostering sounds like it would be good to try that, that out. Rabbit. Yeah, and sometimes that's a good way to get into pet ownership. If you're not sure what kind of pet is going to be right for your household, if you're not sure that maybe the kids oh, are ready for the responsibility, um, fostering is a short-term way to learn those things, and it's also a great way to get to know the animals, but it gives them something important, and that's that socialization. So if you're working with the animals while you've got them, you're learning things, they're learning things, it's kind of a win-win. Mm -hmm. Is the process similar? to be a foster um, parent versus adopting an animal? It's, it's very simple. They can contact Sarah. She's our volunteer coordinator and foster coordinator. Um, it's an application. You sign a foster agreement. You take home a foster manual. And it's just that simple. And then you get to select what type of animal your home would be suitable for. So if you just want to raise kittens, or if you don't want bottle babies, or if you absolutely want moms and puppies, we'll put you on the listserv that we have. And then you get contacted with um, by, by Sarah uh, via email and then that's how you can kind of claim which foster animals you want to take. Cute. Well, what's the commitment like for me to bring home this little guy? <laughs> yeah. What do people need to know? Like, uh, like how long is it and what do they have to provide? For fostering, basically what we say is that you provide the love, we'll provide everything else. Yes. So I got lots as of long love. as you can, yeah, and, and people <laughs> have plenty of love to give, so we know that that's not a problem. Yeah. Basically, we've got everything that you need. We will send you home with a foster kit, basically, of yeah. food and litter if they need litter and all those kind of things. If there is an issue where maybe they have the sniffles or something like that, that our right. vet clinic will take care of that. <laughs> um, there's just all sorts of things that you might encounter, but we've got the resources to help with everything. So if you are encountering even a behavior issue, you can always call Leanne or anybody okay. in the behavior team and, you know, how should we handle this? So it truly is. We'll take care of everything except for you just need to cuddle them and snuggle them and make them feel loved. Yeah. With adoption, there's often a fee. If you're, if you're mm -hmm. a foster parent to an animal, do you, do you pay to do that? No, there's no no fee for fostering. Um, we don't want it to be a prohibitive kind of thing. We want people to feel comfortable and doing that. That's why we say you provide the love, which is free to give, and we can take care of everything else. It's great. That is fantastic. I like it. If people can't foster, how else can they get involved? There's all sorts of things that we need for our foster program. Mm -hmm. Other than word of mouth, if you know somebody who maybe, like you said earlier, is thinking about a pet but not sure, suggest, hey, try fostering. Yeah. You know, Humane Society needs that. Um, there's also all sorts of supplies and things. So if you wanted to you know, donate um, food or bedding or hay or anything like that, um, even you know, if you've got some extra change and you'd like to just donate towards helping the foster program be more viable in that way, yeah. anything like that can help. It's fantastic. I love how that rabbit's just staring down at you were saying, <laughs> uh, adopt me. Yeah, Foster you want me. me, don't you? Look at it. 
Take me home. Oh, does does Get me. he or she have a name? Yes, this is Benny Bunny. Benny Bunny. There you Benny go. Bunny Call about Benny down. Bunny or the sweet kitties oh, that we have Benny here. Bunny. You need to contact Haas today. The phone number 262-542. 8851. Ask about fostering. You can visit them online at hawspets.org. They have a beautiful place um, located on Northview Road in Waukesha. Great to see you guys. You I love today. Thanks for being rabbits and cats. Thanks, <laughs> you love guys. It. Thank you. Thank you.